Hi everybody, my name is Callista Scopo and I am the leader of Roots, which is a faith-based group and I'm located in the West Grove branch of the garage. These times can look really daunting, right? And the future can perhaps fill us with anxiety because we don't know what will be. But I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you a little bit about what the Bible says. In Psalm 91, it reminds us that we are in constant care of the Lord. So what that means is when we go to him, we can find peace in him and comfort, and we can have a real trust in what God's going to do in and through us. What this also means is we can look at what's happening around us, not through a vision of fear, but rather through faith. And what that means is that we start to make more wise decisions. Um, they're more thought out, they're, they're careful, and this is because we have this understanding regarding the fact that we are looking to a God that is in control of all situations. None of this is a surprise to him. And these times are difficult and they probably will continue to be so, not just for us individually or as a nation, but really as a world. But Paul says in 2 Corinthians that our light and momentary situations or problems are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them. So our light and momentary problems, he calls them, light and momentary. So whatever situation, no matter how difficult it is, doesn't even compare to the eternal glory that we have through Christ Jesus. And I wanna encourage you and challenge you during this time to really look to the Lord, to really look into his word, um, and also really to communicate with him and pray with him. I like to give the example that any relationship you're in, whether it's a marital relationship or your boyfriend and girlfriend or a friendship, it's never going to go too well if neither one of you has much communication with one another. It requires listening and it requires talking. And the same is with God. When we are praying with him, we need to talk with him and we need to listen. And God is talking. He speaks not only through his scripture, but also in prayer. And I cannot emphasize enough how much God wants to hear from you. Um, so I want you to, to encourage you during this time to really look to the Lord more. Um, we have this opportunity to be more focused in Him, perhaps, than we've ha we have been. Um, so really take this time. It's precious to be spending time in His Word and through prayer. And I wanted to conclude this video by reading to you Psalm 91. It says, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. So I hope that you can take encouragement from this word here. And when we can't find encouragement, or especially in these times from our own governments, I want to remind you that Look to the Lord, who's in control of a kingdom that cannot be shaken, nor will it fall. Amen. All right. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week. God bless.